much and so do many more. Over hill and highway, the banana buggies go. Coming up to bring you the banana split show. Making up a mess of fun. Making up a mess of fun. Lots of fun for everyone. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. All right, here's the components of our trap out. First, we use scrub pads that are kind of thick to compress and be our gasket. That way we're not putting a bunch of caulk or liquid nails or anything on the tree itself. Then we put a basically a mount for my cone on top of that. And it squishes down and gives us a gasket behind so that bees can't come in and out other than through this hole. And on there we mount the actual um, cone which is about a 12 to 14 inch long cone of uh, number eight hardware cloth. Mounted through a piece of old siding. Also with the hole a little bit smaller, but it doesn't really matter. And then that's mounted onto there. The bees can come out because of their eye function. They can't see the hole in the end to find their way back in. And so they go out into the uh, alternative hive that I've used on the side of the tree. They sting me. I've got a suit over here. I'll put on. Uh, I'll put the suit on for uh, for putting the, the the cone over it, the one-way exit. variations in the, uh, the tree here so I need to fill in some gaps so we're using the scotch bright pad as a gasket that way we don't have something that's um, you know like all
got here. We've got some Scotch Bright pads that are used as a gasket around this tree. That way we don't have to pook it up with uh, caulk or liquid nails, anything like that. That's a good tip that was given to me by another beekeeper, so I'm going to use that. Um, just making sure that we don't have any gaps so that the bees can make their way in in another method. I'll review this video a little bit later. I think we're good. Get up a little taller so I can look in between here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So we've got staining on the tree. I think bees have been here a lot longer than uh, customers that reported them had seen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the cone on here after these golfers here take off. They're on their way out. Let's make sure and look both ways before crossing the road. Hey, you got golfers over here. That's okay. Golfers and gators. There's a gator. All right. I'm going to move this camera back a little bit as I put the cone on. Alright, I've not even put the cone on yet, and these bees are coming out to explore and see what's going on. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, they're kind of buzzing my head. They're not really attacking or anything, so I think we're okay. I'm going to give them some smoke so they clear away. There's bees already inside the, the uh, swarm trap, though, or the collection box. So they're already checking it out. That's good. That means they may take to it pretty quickly. I'm going to give them some smoke and uh, see about going ahead and getting this uh, tree trap out started now that I think our golf golfers are, are away. Go back in the home or stop flying, I'm not sure which. All right, we've got quite a few bees on the outside of this cone. Um, we've got bees inside the box. We've got bees everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a frame of eggs and brood in the box itself. That way they can go ahead and start creating a new queen. So let's give them, uh, it's Easter Sunday today. Let's give them some Easter eggs to hunt. They can create a new queen with one of them. All right.
eggs to tend to though. and see what I see. Zoom back out. Lots of bees in here. There's lots of bees out here too, so I'm gonna take a handful of these ladies. I got my gloves on today. take this frame of eggs it's in this box down here eggs and brood I made sure to get larvae of all ages that are very very small and young I've kept them in a box so they stay cool I've got all the frame in here carefully. Take another handful of bees and set them in here. check around here make sure that they haven't found a way to squeeze in there's a lot of bees in this uh, cone though I don't want them to come out one of their friends in the box so I'm gonna set this down while I put the lid back on the box all right these bees are fanning like they've got a queen here they don't but they got eggs Put this lid back on, give them a chance to All right, good news, all the bees are out of the tree. It's time to screen that off. So there's the comb that's inside the tree. There's no bees on it anymore. It's white comb, it's fairly fresh. I wasn't able to even see that earlier. Uh, Bees are coming in and out of the box here. They're bringing pollen in. We got white pollen on some of these legs. We got some yellow pollen on some of them. And I'm gonna bet that that box is pretty heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and screen this over so the bees can't get back into the tree. 
and uh, let the bees get on another day. We'll take the box away probably, you know, early one morning, pretty quick, pretty, or in the All evening. Alright, we'll one be day. checking on the health of the hive now. So I'm gonna suit up and put my gloves on and go ahead and open up the five frame box and make sure the bees in there look healthy, see if they've created a new queen yet. All right, there's the camera looking up at us. These bees are kind of on me because I haven't used any smoke on there yet. I may not, but I just want to show that this is a healthy looking hive. Just, this is, there's a lot of bees in here. Um, that's looking good, looking good. I'm not even going to pull a frame out. It's just going to upset them more than they need to be. So I'm going to let them be. Uh, we will probably pull this hive this evening or tomorrow evening. Once the sun goes down, right at about dusk, and um, close off the entrance, pull the bees down, pull the uh, bracket off the tree, and call this one done. defensive that's okay though I got the uh, wheel moved a little bit just to make sure that it was still tight and uh, partially covered the hole uh, this evening when it's cooler I'll come. all the bees from foraging should be in the box the clusters stay warm and what we'll do is go ahead and close that lid keep the, the lid strap shut close the entrance keep the lid strap shut and be able to uh, get those off the course and let them uh, get back to business as usual. There's a heavy box of bees. They've been bringing in some honey. These eggs are great queen.